Placeholder, mic check, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Here's some uh, trade-in, and uh, this is not finalized yet, but I thought I'd show it to you. Some obliterators, Chaos Space Marines, this Demon Prince, uh, these really, uh, quite frankly, amazing Nurgle tanks. This one's not painted yet. This one's pretty disgusting. Those are like giant pustules. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. It's time to take a look at some new lots. We are starting with lot number... Uh, there's the panoramic. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, a whole table's worth. And this is like... This stuff is coming in. It is... It's fantastic. It makes me happy inside. Okay, lot 349. This is a uh, Salamander's army. It has quite a bit of out-of-print stuff in here. Uh, but it would be great for a beginner. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of love, you will be on the tabletop and find out what the marvelous hobby of 40K is all about. Don't be shy looking these up because um, we are definitely pricing these things correctly. And uh, so this is lot 349. It comes with um, uh, what looks like about 10 Terminators, a Dreadnought, Devastator Squad, Assault Squad. Jump on in, Thomas. Two Don't be shy now. There's two characters. Okay, two heroes there. Uh, an Assault Squad. Looks like two Tac Squads. Another librarian type guy. Okay. Um, a uh, Land Speeder, Land Raider, uh, four out of print other vehicles. This would be a Whirlwind, Predator, and two Razorbacks. All right, let's move on to lot 350. Oh, sorry. A Tech Marine and chaplain on a bike. Chaplain on Bike. Okay, lot 350 is Dogs of War. These are out of print uh, metal true. figures. Spear, Spearmen are, are still, they still in they print. They're still available on the uh, GW website. Are they fine cast now? No, they're no? still metal. Okay, wow. I didn't know they were still doing metal. These, these, guys, might, these, these guys, I think, are out of print, but right. the, uh, the, the Pikemen are not. The pike are not. Right. So there's those guys. Uh, looks to be about 20 pikemen here, another 10, another uh, 7, looks like. Some horsemen, but no horses. I have no idea what these guys are. I think they're, they're the crew they're for they're the Bronzino's Galloper guns. Yes. And those, oh, my God. Those are the riders. How do I know that? Did you look at that and go, oh, I know what that's from? Uh, I, didn't, I, knew what the, I knew what the guns were, the, the crew right. was for, but I didn't know that okay. the, the riders were also involved. All right. Now we're on to lot 351. This is some War Master for uh, some Tomb Kings for War Master. What you see is what you get here. Uh, quite frankly, I don't know what I'm looking at. So that is what is in that lot. Let's move on to lot 352. This is a highly converted squats army, and Thomas is going to tell you all about it. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys kind of a rundown. But if you're a squat lover, you want this. All right, so if, as I was saying, if you're a squat lover, you want this. It, uh, it has every. I mean, it's really cool, really cool conversions. Uh, these are these are your regular Marines here. Um, let's get the get, get a close up on that guy. What army list does it use? It uses Vulcan Histan Space Marines. So here's your Vulcan conversion right here, and uh, then you so you, you get all the cool stuff that Vulcan gives you. So you get the twin linked Melta, the twin linked Flamer, the master crafted Thunder Hammers for the whole army, and uh, really phenomenal. Uh, Playing, I play. I've actually played against this army in tournaments before, and it plays really well. It's really nasty. Um, so what do you got here? You got three land speeders, five drop pods. I love the drop pod conversion, by the way. He made them. Uh, he built them so that they were like uh, drills coming up out of the, un, under the ground, um, and that just kind of fits with the squat theme. Um, six dreadnoughts, two of them built to be uh, ironclads. There are. 30, well, 35, I think, thereabouts, tactical marines with various sergeants. You've got heavy weapons. You've got your Meltas, Flamers. Uh, you have Rattling Sniper models that have been turned into, get a close up on that one, have been turned into uh, Dwarf Scouts. So he's got Scout models. Uh, so a unit of those for 10. Rhino, uh, obviously painted up pretty good. Um, Ten Thunder Hammer Naders, or uh, the Sergeant could be used as a Thunder or a character. He's got a cool converted hammer on there. He's uh, one of the fun fun things that I like about these guys. Is he's still he he's he's got them converted so that they're bigger than the 
Marines, but also, you know, fit in there with the squat theme. They still look like they're pretty small and squattish. Um, five, five assault Marines, three land speeders, uh, a tech Marine, which was made from a dwarf uh, engineer from Fantasy and then had the uh, tech Marine harness added on. He's got four servitors with that that are regular size so that, you know, servitors are out of the human bodies rather than squat bodies. So that's kind of fun. Um, man, I, I can't say enough about this army. I really like it. I really enjoy it. Um, so, and it's it's priced it's priced fairly for for the the amount of points you're getting there. Uh, it's easily 2,500 points of stuff here, um, and the paint job is at least level three on everything that's painted. I mean, obviously it's not complete. You still got a couple of things that need to be finished, but. Um, and we can give you guys a quote for that if people wanted to upgrade the paint job on everything and, or whatnot. That's possible too. So uh, contact us and let us know because this thing is awesome. And I will, if you don't take it, I'm definitely going to be playing in a bat wrap because I'm excited about it. So, All right, so here's lot 353. And what this is is it's a Mordheim uh, band, basically. So the guy that traded it in converted these guys up to, to play for the uh, gang game, Mordheim, um, and uh, so yeah, these are, you know, you've got a mix of dwarves, and, and there's some other, it's mostly a dwarf army, but you've got a couple of goblins and stuff that are in there kind of on the same side as the as the dwarves in this case, so that's lot 353, the paint job is pretty, pretty good, I like the basing on it, so let us know. Uh, lot 354 is a Planetary Empire box, it is complete, it has been, a lot of it has been put together. It's not painted, but it uh, all the pieces are there, so it's uh, opened, so but it's there. And then that's Lot 354, Planetary Empires. And now the Wood Elves, which you have seen, but now I'm going to show you the whole thing and explain what's in it. This is a Wood Elf army. This is between 2,500 and 3,000 points. I actually think it's pushing 3,000. Uh, the tree men are about 900. The characters bring it up to about 1,700. And you've got all these dryads and other models in it. So there's plenty to work with here. And uh, it's very well balanced. It has the painting that's been done on it. It's extremely crisp and well executed. And here we go. So we have heroes. We've got this uh, little hawk hunting guy. Right? This two-handed sword hero. There's uh, his cloak. We have uh, two spell weavers. This really cool floating one. Limited edition battle standard. I'm pretty sure that is. Don't quote me on that. You have Dreicha unpainted. Eight, uh, excuse me, seven war dancers. A tree man. Ten glade riders. Oh, I'm sorry. These are wild riders right here. These are awesome. Five glade riders over here. That's what those look like. For some reason, there's a guy like with no horse. Um, dryads of various stripes. And I have to say, this, this army is just really extremely well done. A lot of love has gone into it. It's quite impressive, and quite frankly, it makes me happy to look at it. You have uh, all these uh, archers. They are on movement trays. In fact, here's some extra movement trays. Uh, Treekin, 246 Treekins, and uh, they're great in the game, absolutely fantastic. Here's uh, some more archers, Glade Guard is what those are called. Uh, Thomas, did you have something to add? Did you Should I, wait? I, I will, I'm going to put them back in in just a second. And uh, an unpainted tree man, some unpainted dryads, uh, probably about 30 dryads all told, maybe more. And uh, let's see, AA, that's 24, yeah, 36 dryads. 36 dryads. And two uh, direct order Great Eagles. Have you checked these to yeah, make sure that they're complete? They're full kits. Okay, great. And was there anything else in this lot? No. Okay, folks, that. Oh, and the, and the uh, tree man slash giant creature, which is really quite a, uh, quite a centerpiece. I, uh, I really have to tip my hat on that one. So there you go. Those are the lots we have for you today, so check them out.